You know, we found out today that the Humane Society is now helping pets at all stages of their lives as well. Yeah, they are, Frank. In fact, they just launched a new program for terminally ill animals with hospice adoption. Molly Rosenblatt shows us their goal to let terminally ill pets finish out the remaining days in a loving home. Among the tens of thousands of animals taken in every year, some of them turn out not needing a new home for very long. During part of their normal kind of veterinary exam, we discover that an, an animal, while appearing, usually appearing healthy, is actually at the end of their life. That's why Ann Ayers came up with the idea of a hospice program. She says it takes a special kind of person to take in a pet they'll likely fall in love with near the end of its life. It's emotionally challenging to have that end of life decision, but it's very meaningful as well to kind of be able to be there at the end of an animal's life and to take that on. Air says while a hospice pet may require more medical care and a quiet household, the most important need is just love for their remaining days. Ten-year-old Tiggs is just one of their hospice pets currently up for adoption after discovering he has kidney failure. Tiggs is very sweet and he's looking for a loving home to spend the rest of his life. The program has already been surprisingly well received. Stephanie Means came into the Humane Society last January to look at a dog, but before she got to it, she saw Princess first. So I read her little synopsis on the front and you know it said, my name is Princess, I'm shy, I'm affectionate, and I'm part of the hospice program. And of course that caught my eye right away. Princess had cancer and with a soft spot in her heart, Stephanie brought her home and into her family. Sadly, Princess only made it six weeks, but Stephanie has no regrets. And of course I'm guilty of waking up at like five in the morning to make her scrambled eggs when she would no longer eat her dog food. I wouldn't do it for my fiance, but I would do it for my dog, you know. But I, she was really great. We had a wonderful, wonderful time, albeit short with her. Molly Rosenblatt, WCCO4 News. So far, 19 hospice pets, including terminally ill dogs, cats, even guinea pigs, have been adopted. If you'd like to help, volunteers, including Frank, are ready to take your call. The number is 800-542-WCCO. Your donation will be matched dollar for dollar up to $15,000 thanks to Phil and Arlene Gradnick and an anonymous donor. Just $50 provides full vaccinations for two cats in order to keep them healthy and prepare them for adoption at the Animal Humane Society.